good day everybody welcome back to another episode of the survival let's play so right now I am just basically clearing out a spot for today's project so we're gonna be working on a blacksmith forge now I don't know why but I got this urge just feeling like I want to build a blacksmith I don't know why I just felt like I wanted to build something somewhat of a forge built into the side of a cave and of course we don't really have a good blacksmith area in our ravine like at all um, now we do have a super smelter which is our little super furnace um, but you know, of course we're gonna leave that there I thought about bringing it up here and rebuilding it basically but then I don't know <laughs> I mean it could be something we should do right Hmm, possibly um, but for right now I do want to work a little bit with our smithing table and I also want to work on getting a villager up here uh, a blacksmith of course uh, getting one here and being able to trade with him so uh, basically the the villager trading hall that we built a couple of months ago is basically broken because of the new update and all of the new you know uh, villager mechanics or what have you so there's it's basically dead so we just have all these villagers there just hanging out and um unfortunately i can't really do much with them i guess we could just burn it down but <laughs> that might be a little bit um i don't know might be a little bit barbaric so i'm not going to do that but i do want to try and give these villagers jobs and hopefully bring our blacksmith over here so um but anyways i think this is going to be a good enough spot for us to um to get started it's pretty pretty open now right here if I dig any further out there's actually uh, the panda enclosure so we gotta be extra careful as to where we're digging and I think just beyond this wall here is gonna be two cans enclosure so we gotta be careful with that um, but as far as um, height wise I think we kind of have um, a lot of space here to work with but I don't think that I want to make this ceiling much higher now then, we are pretty much done adding cobblestone and smooth stone and andesite and gravel and stuff where I want it. Um, for the rest of the decorative part, of course, we're going to add in some leaf blocks. We're not going to add any vines because I don't want too many vines dangling down and kind of taking away from everything because we're going to need we're going to need a lot of workspace. Um, there is one more thing though um, that we may need to build out of stone so let's get back in the ender chest here and I put away hopefully there's some stone brick here and there we go this can come out right here that's gonna go like that we could even bring this out a bit like that yeah there we go okay cool and then we'll have to put a slab on top to kind of top it off let's see here Mm-hmm. There we go. And this throw that slab right on top. Actually, that's pretty cool. That's very awesome. Yeah, I'm going off of a reference of an actual blacksmith forge, and uh it looks something like that. Okay, so I wanna say that smoke does go through magma block, but I guess we'll have to find out for ourselves. But I'm gonna go and place this for now. Alright, that's looking extra cool already. And let's see, let's go underneath here. I'm curious as to whether it will actually go under like the smoke so let's go ahead and grab those campfires all right so let's make three campfires here let's uh, yeah that's all we need for now because in case it doesn't work um, but let's just give it a go so one now is it oh the smoke's gonna go through this is fantastic okay so let's go and place that third one and then the fourth one. There we go. Now that's freaking awesome. I love it. I love that so much. Okay, so I'm glad that we're able to do that. I wasn't quite sure if you were going to be able to do that or not, but that's perfect. I'm thinking two anvils will look really cool. So put one there for now. And all right, let me grab... <laughs> Good thing the storage is as close as it is because I will probably be running back and forth this entire episode. Anyways, I'm going to grab more materials that I can think of um, to kind of help us from having to do that. Anyways, yeah, let me grab everything that I need. Okay, so I grabbed everything I need. I grabbed, I made cauldrons, I made a couple of anvils, or I made one anvil actually. Um, but <clears throat> I also brought some iron just in case. But after like thinking about it, 
Um, I was thinking for the water source, actually not there, but how about right here for the water? I'd rather have like a barrel of water, you know, instead of the cauldron. Um, even though a cauldron's meant for that, but um, I think something like that, a barrel such as that, would be better. And then, oh no, jeez, <laughs> they're waterlogged. Oh man, it's because I forgot to. That was my fault. There we go. Now that looks pretty cool. I like that. And then let's go and grab our cauldrons. I mean, our anvils. <laughs> and then place them right there like so. Okay, now that. Now that I like. So now it's time to make some barrels. Barrels are always an excellent way to dress up the area. And let's uh, actually use these for storage. So I'm going to place this here. So that we can place a barrel there and then place this one like so. There we go. That looks pretty good. And then maybe like one more barrel on the side over here. There we go. All right. That's looking pretty cool. All right. So I want a workbench over here like a workstation. And with that, I'm going to definitely use my spruce uh, trap doors here. So I want to be able to put a chair there as well and then just have like a bunch of clutter. And that's pretty cool that um, I actually just changed out my KZ.png, I believe, which is uh, basically the uh, photo frame or the uh, picture frame file on your texture pack. I actually uh, customized it. Not, not my own textures, by the way. I kind of uh, took some from John Smith and tweaked them a little bit. And then there was like another one. I don't remember, but... Um, definitely not mine, but I added them to my resource pack. Um, so <clears throat> there's one that looks like a painting, or not a painting, but like a drawing. And there's one that looks like some sticky notes, and I think it's going to look great in the workstation. So we're definitely going to go ahead and do that. So let's going to work on this table design. So I want to go ahead and just bring that out. The table is going to be, um, it's going to be a too wide table. It's going to be a nice hefty table there. All right, change of plans. So I do love this table. I love it. I do. So we are going to use it. It's just going to be somewhere else in the room. I'm thinking like right over here would be a great spot for it. Let's say it's uh, just a tabletop for just placing items on there or whatever. You know, if you're selling stuff or just just a little work a work table. And uh, let's go ahead and just build that again right here. There we go. That looks pretty good. Now, for this table, what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to use stairs because stairs you can actually place the lanterns on there. And I do want a work lantern or uh, something like that. And uh, let's see. Stairs. There we go. Fantastic. And then I have my slabs. Okay, great. So for this table, it's still going to be kind of a bulky table. But we're going to bring that out like so. All right, so now it is time to build our chairs. So I want to put the chair like right here. And I feel like the oak doors will definitely work as a back. Yeah, that actually works out pretty well. And then for this, we can put this here. That's great. And yeah, there we go. That pops a little bit better. And there we go. All right, we got a chair over there. I think it looks really cool. Now... Uh, I think I think we'll remove the, the fence gate. I think it'll be okay without it. I can't even pick it up. My inventory is so crazy. Okay, get out of here. Get out of here, wood. One more. Ah, oh, there we go. Those are the sticky notes. And then let's remove this. Well, actually, we should be able to put a picture frame behind it. <gasps> Perfect. Can't have worked out any better. Okay, there we go. That's great. Oh, that's fantastic. Um, looking at this table, though, I was thinking we could probably get away with doing this bit right there. Oh, yeah, that looks better. Just like the front stair, have it going this direction. There we go. That looks better. I just didn't like that other table. It was just so ugh, so overdone all the time. Anyways, um, one more painting here. One more painting. We can put this over here. And I, like I said, I have a tool picture. Hopefully I can get it. Let's see. You know what? I think more sticky notes is okay. More sticky notes. There you go. Lots of notes. He likes to take orders and whatever, you know, what have you. So <laughs> that'll actually work out well. I love it. That looks so cool. 
Okay, so the reason why I'm placing the grass block is because I just remembered with my resource pack we can get that block right there and then we have a mixture of the um yeah we have the mixture of the horse dirt they could all work out pretty well so i'm not gonna put too much but i'm gonna put a bit here and there all right so instead we'll put all of the pathway block here because this is kind of like where there's more traffic uh, i can't fit it under there so i'll have to turn that into that and that and there we go you know, I, I definitely don't mind that. That actually looks kind of good. And let's go ahead and go right there. A couple of more right over here. And one underneath there. And we should call it a day, right? Maybe one more here. There we go. All right. I'm really just absolutely loving how this is coming together. Now, of course, of course, of course, of course. I have to add a bit of grass. Oh, look at that. It looks so cool just to see that as soon as you walk in. All right, so let's go and steal some grass. Can I have some grass, please? There we go. There's a few more. There we go. How much do we have? Ten. That should be perfect. Yeah, we don't need a whole lot. We're in Lag City. By the way, guys, I got my beautiful sky back. I couldn't remember it for the life of me the texture pack that I was uh, using. And, uh, uh, hello? <laughs> um, I couldn't remember for the life of me, like, what texture pack I was using. And, uh, it was Eddie's shader. Like, I literally had to go back and check an old video and, like, check the link. Because I had posted a link, like, so, you know, to let some of you know. Because a lot of you were asking me. And I couldn't remember, so I put it, I had ended up putting a link in one of my videos. And I had to, like, check that back. So, good thing I did that. But anyways, got the beautiful skies back and I love it. All right, there we go. That's enough grass. Maybe one more over here. All right, we're good. All right, so I remembered we have these kelp blocks. And uh, we could put some over here. Maybe, like, uh, kind of stacked up. They use it as a, you know, because it is a good, you know, source of fuel. So, let's say you use it to burn and keep this lava pit going or whatever. You know, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how this works. I'm just building it. Um, put that right there. There we go. All right. That's some great lighting. I love it. That's some great lighting. Okay. So I have a few more things here. Oh, yeah. Let's go ahead and place our anvils because I keep forgetting. So we're going to put an anvil here and here. All right. That's great. And then let's go ahead and put our cauldrons. Now, I said we weren't going to use these, but these are great to have, like, decorative-wise. Um, let's just go and place one right there. Let's say we're using it for whatever. Um... And then, let's see, I want to make a lectern. So I brought some stuff to make one. I think I need slabs, though. Let's see. Wait, I have slabs. I have books. I have slabs. I should be able to make one now, right? What do I need? Ah, I need a bookshelf. Okay. So, uh, yeah, let's make a bookshelf. Hello, bookshelf. Okay. <laughs> I need full blocks for that. Come on, Daphne. You get lazy, right? Because we're so used to this, like, crafting for us here. And then you kind of, like, forget. I even use it to make sticks. That's just so lazy. Okay, so let's go ahead and um, I want a place to where maybe he can put, like, uh, maybe he's going through books and looking through orders and what have you. Um, hmm. There we go. Now that's perfect. That's perfection. I love it. I love it. Um... Where's my trap doors? I don't think I have any, do I? Hmm. Let's see. Did I put them away? I may have. Let's see. Is it this one? Yes, it is this one. Alright. So, what if we go like that? That looks even more like a, uh, like an actual, you know, an actual desk. Maybe another trap door right there. There we go. That looks so cool. It looks definitely like he's studying something or, you know, he's contemplating what he's going to, you know, make next. Okay, so I think that's going to be it. We are all done. The stone cutter could be cool to have in here. But he's not going to be cutting anything, right? No, he wouldn't be cutting anything. Yeah, I think we're done. I think we're done with this place. Now, all we got to do is bring our villager here and... That'll be it. Um, oh, yeah, and I do have some grass blocks here, which I do want to go ahead and just...
place a few. Um, after all, we are in a jungle biome, so huh, these got to be growing somewhere. Maybe just one bit right there. Yeah, I think that's enough. I don't want to put too much in. Like this right here is going to get removed. That's going to get removed. There we go. All right. We got the blacksmith forge going. Now, the whole point of building this was to put a smithing table in here. And uh, we don't have one yet. Right there. That's exactly where it's going to go. <laughs> yeah, fantastic. I love this place. It just really came to life. I absolutely love it. I feel like there's maybe something missing, but I guess I'll find out later on once I'm done recording and I've uploaded the video. That's usually how things work, but uh, if you guys have any suggestions of things we could add to this place, I mean, that would be awesome. Um, well, do I have any more spruce stores? I do. Okay. So let's, uh, let's put some like right here. Put some shelving in. There we go. The more shelving, the better. And uh, maybe just a bit of shelving. Maybe like here, I guess. Maybe right there. I don't know. <laughs> you want to use as much space as possible here. I don't think that's going to be too weird. No. I think right here is perfect. And then we can go ahead and put a few trap doors. Just like that. You got a shelf. You have to actually walk over here to see it. But... Hmm, maybe I don't want that. Yeah, I think it'll be okay just like this. Put a bit in there. There we go. Now that looks good. That looks really good. Alright guys, so that's going to be it for today's episode. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. I loved it. I love building this so much. We'll get a villager in here. Of course, we won't have any time this episode because I've just spent too much time on this one. And then, uh, good thing though that our uh, trading hall is not too far. So we'll have to bring it on over here, that villager of ours. And hopefully um, with the smithing table being here, um, I'm going to try and pick a villager that I haven't traded with yet so that way we can open up new trades and hopefully get a good one. But I guess we'll just kind of play it by ear and uh, we'll do that next episode. So before I, yeah, before we head out today, we're going to head over to our subby wall and add our two lucky subscribers today. Okay, and our two subscribers today are Donnie M78 and Mira Axel. Mira Axel, I believe that's how you pronounce it. Anyways, <laughs> I'm always butchering you guys' names, and you guys love me anyway, right? Thank you guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> Anyways, again, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. It was awesome. It's just great to be back on the Let's Play world. Make sure to leave suggestions for things that you want me to work on and also other additions you'd like to see me add. Um, and also, one more thing I want to address one more thing okay so i've heard many many people i see the comments a lot of you guys want me to come back over here and actually continue oh hello <laughs> uh but you guys actually want me to continue our little underground hobbit hole which there's a lot of work to be done over here i love this place though but we just need more room to grow and i'm gonna have to dig all this out that's kind of the the reason why i kind of held back because the digging part digging is just ugh. <laughs> um Anyways, yeah, if you guys want me to work on this, I will. I'm going to. I love it. I love building hobbit holes, and it's just a lot of fun. And it was the first time that I actually used the granite, the polished granite stairs for the resource pack. So, yeah. Anyways, we got a, we got a person here. Is this your home? Have you claimed this place, sir? I think you have, haven't you? Good thing you're cute, because I, I wouldn't mind. <laughs> Anyways, all right, guys, that's it for today. I'll see you all next time.